I said 50-50 a little while earlier when Shoaib Malik was out there, five overs to go. Now the scenario changes. It changes again. What a shot that is. That's good. I love it. I just can't believe it. We're right up here from our vantage point high up in the rafters. And I looked down and I went, that's gone. For 648 of them have gone. It's 272 for six. The ball sure that kind of a delivery, the last ball. Not at all. He's no delivery. To, yeah, change of pace, and it's not quite worked for Taylor. I think he there should have just been searching for another Yorker yeah. because Akmal, that's a classic wicketkeeper stroke. Next two deliveries has to disappear big time over the fence, and Jerome Taylor is a good death bowler. Hello, hello, hello! This has gone all the way for the maximum. Game on, folks! Yeah, he was looking for that full-length delivery, but as it turned out, it was just there in the slot for Kamran Akmal to play that shot. I don't think he was really looking to go over long off as much as going over the bowler's head. But then, just got to slice it, but look at the distance that he's got. That's a bit bigger than Kowloon at Hong Kong. That is a clean stroke. Like you say, Sanch, didn't even get quite all of it. And it still sailed comfortably over for six. Ten runs to win. Here we go. Oh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you little champion. That is another one. He is snatching this away from the West Indies. Shouldn't be happening. You've got to get the ball in the hole. And Taylor is not. Well, this is shocking. Two consecutive sixes. And look at the man. He's relaxed there as if uh, nothing's happened. Two glorious hits on the offside. Two huge sixes on a big ground against a fast bowler. And now you're looking at four runs to win from three balls, Danny. Well, I'm chucking that your 50-50 call. And now you'd have to say I swung the other way with the favouritism with the home side with the bat in hand. Well, Jerome Taylor's got to do something with his length, Danny. Oh, absolutely. There's two there, just saying. Got to get a Yorker in right now. Again, the length was uh, just right there in the slot for Kamran Akmal. He's going to get two for this. Alan wanted the third, but good thinking by Kamran Akmal. Oh, can you believe that? An extra run conceded. <laughs> it is all crazy here at Abu Dhabi. Now she's all tied up, folks. One to win with a misfield there. It's just falling apart here from the West Indies. Good save out on the fence. And then he said, no, I'll take the strike. You stay there, Alan. I'll take the strike and finish the game. And then there, Taylor, who's having a shocker, can't even take that. Can't get the Yorker in, let alone hold on to the ball, and it is all happening out in the centre. What were you saying a little while earlier? Hallmark of a great side is fielding well under pressure. I have something against the slide here. If you look at that stop there, the initial stop where the slide came in, it could have been jolly well picked up on the run and thrown back. I think the fielders do slide unnecessarily on occasion these days, but there it is. Uh, you're looking at one run to win from two balls. The fielders have all come in. 16 has already been scored. Credible. Just shows you two maximums in the final over of a one international. And this is why you come and watch it live. Great game of 50 over cricket, no doubt about it. Everyone's been talking about Pro 20, T20 cricket. Well, I tell you what, 50 over cricket isn't dead yet, folks. Everyone inside the circle, it's a given. He just has to do this. Got to knock the stumps over. It's as simple as that. He has to hit the woodwork, does Jerome Taylor. Well, they've got it through, through the ring of fielders, and Pakistan have won this game. Listen to the crowd. Look at the crowd going berserk. Abu Dhabi, they've won it, they are heroes, against all odds really, with about four overs to go, you had to say the West Indies were in control.
It was mission impossible when Kamran Akmal came in. The last over set up, Jerome Taylor bowled the earlier over. His earlier over in the spell, quite effectively. And your money was on West Indies. What happened there? Well, simply didn't execute at the death. They started to fall apart, the West Indies in the field, and particularly here with Jerome Taylor bowling two length balls to Cameron Akmal, who got underneath him and leveraged him over long off and then over cover. Two stunning strokes. You've got a feel for Chris Gale. Brilliant 100, great 49th over to almost win the game for West Indies. All Jerome Taylor had to do was pitch it full, bowl the Yorkers, final runs, the winning runs by young Alam, it was Kamran Akmal who did it, and before him, Shoaib Malik. Now then, who's your man of the match? You were giving it to Chris Gale, and rightly so, up until the...